Hello everyone, and welcome to day one of the first November sumo tournament in Tokyo since 1947. So, what can I show you that you haven't seen already? Well, in addition to concrete proof that Izutsu Stable is still standing, plenty of things. How about we start with the man who lost all 15 bouts in September, Oki. He found himself back in Division 3 today against another sumo movie star from Sakaigawa Stable, making his debut on this channel, Hirado Umi. The scars of September are still there for Orki. Ending this brutal losing run will be the biggest challenge of his career to date. I don't think you've seen this match either. Taiho's third grandson, Naya, controversially denied promotion last time, was paired with Dai Shoho for the second straight tournament match day. That's right, Naya beat him in his final September bout. Dai Shoho was then dramatically demoted against Uda the following day. And, if he assumes his stay in Division 3 will be short... <laughs> he'll be easily picked off by the many hungry men chasing promotion. Naya now needs just three more wins to guarantee his. It was a joy to see Uda don his salmon pink salaried level belt for the first time in three years today. I'm sure opponent Nishiki Fuji knew he was up to something when seeing him retreat like this. But he still couldn't defend. A little nervous, yeah, was how Uda described his pre-match state of mind. It was great I had that nice flow today, though. Before this tournament, all I was aiming for was not getting injured and somehow staying in Division 2. Still 14 to go, so I won't be getting carried away. Now... Let's go for another angle on Mitake Umi Onosho, one of today's main talking points. <laughs> Mitake Umi was adamant, no wipe down assistance required. Chief Judge Takadagawa polled everybody, including the referee, then asked for video confirmation. Even I, in the thick of it, felt we fell as one, said Mitake Umi afterwards. And the judges agreed, ruling that Onosho's foot left the ring exactly as Mitake touched down. However, from my unique angle, it looks indeed as though Onosho lost. However, a confident Mitake Umi was only too happy for a rematch, and here's why. <laughs> Today was where we really saw my experience at the October group practice pay dividends, said Mitake Umi, who took on nearly everybody at that session he mentioned. I took the bulk of the impact, then drove forward. I want to be imposing my sumo style, and to not be outdone by the Ozeki. Speaking of which, Asano Yama, perhaps the first sumo wrestler to comment on a US presidential election, swept aside Kiribayama with his favoured grip. And Takakesho looked impressive in his fourth straight win over Takayasu. The arena atmosphere is getting back to what it was in January, and I'm really grateful, he said post-match. Although I'm the highest ranker left in the tournament, I'm not overly thinking about my position, and just want to fight lively, youthful, 
spirited sumo. And just before those two matches, a trembling Shodai stepped into his first meeting with youthful Wakataka Kage. The huge chest and high hips which dominated a good dozen foes in September were so ineffective here that the crowd gasped. The Yobidashi thought it was clear cut and went with the referee, but was then told not to jump the gun. Coach Takaragawa again took a poll after consulting the voice in his earpiece, and Waka Takakage was deemed to have stepped out. Yes, he most certainly did, and the Yobidashi, as it turned out, had the best view. There was a lot to deal with here, opening night nerves, first match as an Ozeki, as expected my body froze up a little, was how Shodai explained being buffeted around the ring. And yet, even fighting that stiffly, I still won. I just couldn't encroach today. But you'd think that once my body gets moving, the standard of my sumo is going to rise. Wakataka Kage's frustration was not the only thing we picked up on above the walkway today. There was Enho's bloody nose, of course. And the white-faced anguish of Akua, sadly injured on the top division debut he had waited a decade to make. Sumo is harsh. Fortunes can change in an instant. For now, fortune is favouring Shodai, and those of us who happen to be right there when he appears in the street. See you tomorrow.